everybody and welcome back to my channel all right so libra this is your january 2020 reading um we're gonna break down what you can expect in love finances and career growth and spirituality and any precautions you should take uh for the month of january and how you can amplify um and manifesting the messages in this video before we jump into the reading i would like to thank all of you subscribe to my channel thus far thank you so much as well as any of you if this is your first time viewing one of my videos hit the subscribe button and the bell notification uh, down below I drop videos weekly as well as if you would like a personal reading check out the description box below for a personal reading and yeah keep in mind that this is a general reading of the full collective for Libra for January so if uh, take what's what's um, resonating for you all and leave behind what doesn't and have fun enjoy all right so without further ado let's get into this reading all right uh all right so libra first we're gonna get into your love life we're gonna break your love life down uh, from the first half of january the second half of january and then we're gonna jump into the other halves uh, well, into the other parts of the reading. All right, so let's find out, universe, what's happening? What can Libra expect for the first half of January in regards to love? Thank you for the channel messages. What can Libra expect the first half of January in regards to love, universe? Thank you for the channel messages. What can Libra expect the first half of January? Us to love universe. Let's see one more card. What can we expect? Regards to love universe. First half of January. Six of Cups in the reverse. I'm in the reverse. In the upright. All right, Libra. So you have someone that's looking to make their way back. Uh, for some of you, I'm also picking up that that's a platonic friendship. So you have some friends. I'm not picking up more so. I'm not picking up that these are friends that you haven't spoken to in a while. Just more so maybe you're going to be spending a lot of time with friends or more so a friend that you haven't heard from in a while. Thank you, universe. will be making their way back towards you. So let's find out some romance or regards to universe. What can we expect in regards to romance? First half of January, what can we expect? It's romance. Love life. Virginia, give me three more cards. We were expecting two more cards. You know, thank you for the message. Wedding. All right. So, some of you, someone's getting recommitted, or this is someone coming back from the past to offer commitment, Libra. Um, but I am feeling for a large collective. This is a friend, an old friend you haven't heard from, a platonic friend at that. Um, maybe looking to be recommitted within your life. All right, so let's find out what the tarot is saying for you all. We have the knight, or what is this? The king of cups. King of cups in reversed. We have the knight of swords. So I'm feeling you a bit fanning off love for some of you, Libra. Uh, we have the seven of cups. Ah, so some of you are trying to weigh out your options. You are dating this first a uh, couple of uh, weeks within January. You're very dating focused. Uh, I'm more so with this King of Cups in reverse. You're not allowing yourself to get very emotional with anyone. It, some of you are just fanning off any solid situation. More so like you're weighing out your options, seeing what's out there for you. Uh, for some of you, you're trying to balance out your love life. You're trying to get your love life into an equilibrium these first two weeks. Um, I'm not getting indecisive though with this two of swords in reverse more so like you've made up your mind you know what you want libra in regards to your love life and that's why you're exploring your options with these different cups these seven of cups however you're not ready to make a final decision with this king of cups in reverse and then we have the hermit card so yeah you're definitely going to be out there for some of you you're not going to be single single uh single yes um however you're definitely going out there to see What's out there for you? You're exploring your options these first two weeks in January. Yeah, you're not going to be at home. Let's see what the romance oracle is saying for you, Libra. Ooh, true love. All right, so 
I told you that I'm feeling friendship come back in. For some of you, this is reconciliation with someone from your past, someone that you may have been married to or someone who wants to marry you. Maybe someone, this is an old friend from the past that's coming back in who once wanted to marry you or you're friends with this person now. You once had a relationship, once were married or this person had these feelings for you. But yeah, you're definitely calling true love in. Uh, definitely with self-love, you're very self-focused. I'm hearing self-improvements, uh, Libra, is what you're focusing on. But yeah, you're not going to be shut in the house with this hermit. In reverse, and maybe, you know, for some of you, and you are represented too with that justice, but you're trying to get yourself back in balance. Uh, but I'm more so getting dating or someone, you ju you're just... Even if you're not actively looking up your options, you're thinking about your options, you're listing out. You are actively doing something, even if it's not physically going out on the day. You're, it's like you're formulating a plan because you're trying to get back to an equilibrium. Finances and career, and it's popped out when I was shuffling and I reshuffled. But yeah, so right now you're very money focused um, on yourself, though, or creating security within yourself. And maybe that's what this... Uh, Justice in reverse represents that that you trying to get back to that equilibrium because for some of you, you don't want to jump into some feeling more so on the masculine energy. You don't want to completely thrust yourself into a situation until your finances and your career is at balance. For some of you, this is the type of partner that you're looking for, someone who can be there for you both financially, uh, you know, and who has a good career, someone who's on your level uh, retreat. So yeah, definitely with, where is it? Where's this King of Cups? So yeah, so right now I'm, I'm feeling that more so self energy. You are figuring out what it is that you want. For some of you, you, I just picked up vacation. Some of you be doing something sexy in the month of January, this first half uh, with someone special. Definitely for those of you that are in a couple, uh, for those of you that are in relationships when I'm picking up with this retreat, is that you're, you're going, I'm picking up some type of spa for couples. You're going away uh, or you, you have something planned like a weekend or a night or a day. Someone ho rented a hotel room. That's what I'm getting with that one. Uh, but definitely uh, for you singles, what I'm getting with this retreat, you're just, it's not that you're taking a break on your love life. It's like yours taking a step back to see the full picture and figure out what it is that you want, whatever it is that you're grabbing at. And for some of you, you are physically out there dating or making a strides to date. And then we have, ooh, give your relationship a chance. I told you somebody's coming back for some of you. For some of you, someone's coming back. For some of you, this is someone that you do not want to hear from. You're like, okay, whatever, let them stay. You know, <laughs> let it die. But damned it back to hell. Um, and for others of you, this is someone from the past. I'm definitely picking up old friend who wants to reconnect. This is a platonic and a romantic for some of you, but someone who wants to reconnect and recommit to a serious situation with you or a serious friendship with you or some, something serious with you. Definitely if it's someone, uh, yeah, actually I'm getting that for platonic as well as romantic for you, Libra. All right, so let's find out, Libra, what's happening. What can you expect the second half of January in regards to your love life? Let's get into this. All right, universe, thank you for the channel messages. Thank you for using me as a vessel to give the channel messages. So very grateful. What can Libra expect? And I, you know what I'm hearing? It's going down in your DMs. So somebody's going to be contacting you via your social media and your messages. I just keep hearing it's going down in DMs. So it's going down in somebody's DMs. Maybe as you're watching this or right before you clicked on this, it started going down in your DMs. All right, universe. What's, what's going on in Reaper's Love Life? Second half of January. Oh, way too many cards. Second half of January, Libra Love Life. Universe for the messages. Ooh. Second half of January, Libra Love Life. Yes, second half of January, Libra love life. That one popped out. Second half of January, Libra love life. Three more cards. Second half of January. Give me one more card, universe. Second half of January. There we go. Ooh, we have the six of coins. So there's some unrequited love going on, Libra, that I'm picking up. But I'm more so picking up. I told you I'm picking up you rejecting someone. You're rejecting someone's offer. 
that's what that is with that unrequited love that came out with that six of coins in reverse universe second half of january this is january 16 through 31 uh, libra second half of january libra love life give me two more cards second half of january libra love life two more cards all right there we go wow someone's looking to get recommitted maybe this is this per wow y'all something to do that shuffle maybe this is this person that you're turning down um so some of you the very next card that was under that was calling in your um or give this relationship a chance to so some of you is that unrequited love with that person from your past trying to sneak back in let's see what the tarot is saying before we jump into the romance oracle so we have the knight of staffs that's in the reverse we have the chariot that's in the reverse we have the, ooh, the queen of swords somebody is just really rejecting someone not you're not the one getting rejected but you are doing the rejecting libra uh the will of fortune is somebody so what i'm getting is for the second half with the offers that's coming in for you because this unrequited love is, is standing out hard uh definitely for some of you someone that's coming from the past you will be rejecting that person this person is coming in um like this knight of staffs you know wanting to rush in with some action and you're just like no for some of you you are rejecting a cancer <laughs> you're just like no nah. uh for some of you you're rejecting an air sign or maybe a fire sign but there's someone you're turning your back on there's someone that you're blocking i'm definitely feeling um the second half of january you're just in this just huge rejection mode of what's coming towards you of what's been handed to you in regards to love um libra with this will of fortune in the reverse oh wow we got the queen of coins that came out wow uh so yeah libra so you're looking for love you know what you want but you're not happy with your offers wow and it's three of swords so yeah i'm just feeling a whole bunch of disappointments from you uh libra and once again this doesn't have to resonate with everybody if this is not resonating with you that's perfectly fine. Fight me in the comments if you need to. Also, if you're not liking what you're hearing, but this is hitting that sore spot, book a personal reading with me. We can get into it. Tarot's not finite. Remember this. I am a YouTube tarot reader. This is entertainment. Remember that. All right. Um, just have to say that. That's not for everybody, but I have to say that for um, some of you who may be getting kind of sour listening to this. Like, what? Um, but if it is resonating and you're feeling sour, that's because it's resonating. So, you know. I uh, told you book a reading with me or take inventory of why that is because yeah you're in huge rejection mode Libra what I'm seeing uh, and yeah with this unrequited love this is you fending off a commitment for some of you this has to do with fear that I'm picking up though you know you want this a solid committed relationship um, maybe you feel like you're not ready once again we had that justice that was in reverse that first half so there's things that's unbalanced um that's not balanced in your life and you're feeling that you're not ready and so yeah i just i'm feeling a huge sense of disappointment uh huge sense of disappointment pay attention to the red flags so for some of you yeah it's like guys or women are coming in but it's like oh well, what am i doing the bottom of this the bottom of the barrel we're like scraping you know <laughs> it's the bargain bin of men and women <laughs> no shade to nobody but that's how you're feeling that's what i'm picking up and it's like yeah um engagement so i am picking up this once again it's going back to that old person coming back in somebody that you are someone wants to come in and take you out i'm getting i'm hearing for some of you someone's gonna travel towards you definitely travel someone's gonna want to take you out i'm hearing someone say like i'm in a city you know let's go out to eat someone wants to take you out keep an open mind so what i'm keeping what i'm hearing is this uh, a lot of people are approaching you that maybe aren't your usual type and the universe is saying maybe give one of these people a shot maybe you're fine that you're very happy with them uh codependency so with this codependency i'm sensing that you know you're really still attached to these old ideologies i'm just i'm picking up pessimism for you libra this second week i'm picking up pessimism um and it has to do with that old negative thinking or that okay but whatever or Maybe somebody lets you down that first time. You're just like, ah, F it, you know? So, but I'm seeing you do the rejecting. So in a way, that's not a bad thing because you know what you want and that's why you're rejecting what you're getting. So this is not, you know, a horrible reading by far. Um, just because, you know, in this part of this, you know, and definitely go listen to other readers too, you know, because you may find additional messages for you and other readers' read readings. 
Um, but what I'm getting from here is that you're rejecting what, what doesn't suit you. Because uh, I'm not getting a, a huge self-sabotage. I'm getting that maybe you've self-sabotaged in the past. But this is not what's driving your rejection now. It's more so you know what you want and you're not accepting less than that. But it is disappointing you greatly uh, these last two weeks um, of January that's coming in in passion. So, yeah, definitely I am picking up some of you. Just because you're rejecting doesn't mean you won't have. I just heard you won't have. A, just because you're rejecting. I told you I'm keep on hearing stuff that's going down in the DMs. There's a boo thing out there for you, you know, that's getting that momentum and somebody's flirting heavy with you. Um, or you're flirting heavy with someone. But I'm not picking up that maybe you all get on with the dating like you want to in january or the second half of january but there's definitely someone coming in that just really give you the you know those butterflies on the inside that's what i am picking up but um you know what you want and even if these people are disappointed to you overall you know what you want uh libra that's what i'm picking up all right let's find out you know what i'm feeling too just randomly Let's see Libra couples universe what's the message for Libra couples Let's give, me, give me three cards what's the message for Libra couples for the month of January Ooh, there we go. four of coins in the upright you're in control yeah so what I'm getting for you Libra couples there's something that you're waiting on for some of you you're waiting on the right time to uh, take a trip or go or proposal this has something to do with further establishing a relationship king of coins yep this has something that's money related told you korean finances popped out um but so yeah you're in terms of your relationship for legal couples you are solid right now nothing's shaking that up um maybe there are some some strife that's happening in this month in regards to finances with this king of coins because you're not completely secure right now the two of you maybe there's some someone i'm picking up that you two have moved in but you're still kind of maybe struggling with money or you would like to move in for some of you you're moving towards your partner or you want to move towards your partner because i told you i keep on picking up and it's this wedding to that commitment so you're looking to move towards your partner so you can start that half of your life um but it's career and finances that's coming through and this may cause a bit of strife but don't worry couples because everything's all good you still got your woman or your man so nothing's penetrating that all right, so let's find out, Libra, in regards to money and career. What can you expect for the month of January? The universe for the channel messages. What's messages? Money and career for Libra, the month of January. Money and career for Libra. Somebody's going to be looking for a job. Money and career for Libra. Someone's been out of work. I'm picking up for a few months or quite some time. Money and career for Libra, month of January, normal card, money and career, there we go. Ah, yep, there's growth happening, so uh, I told you you were focused on your finance, for some of you, I told you for some, for masculine energy, and this could be feminine energy as well, but somebody's focusing on their career at the moment, and maybe that's why their personal life is a little bit out of, out of uh, balance, because they want things to manifest for real, for real in the career that's where most of their energy is because someone's definitely going to be looking for a job someone's been out of job for a minute so we have the three of cups so what i'm getting is uh for some of you you're not feeling fulfilled currently at your job or you enjoy your job but you don't feel like you're going anywhere that you want to go because we have this three of cups which is an overindulgence so it's like you love what you do or, or, or the environment or the people you work with or they're fun to be around that's what i'm getting but it's not really taking you anywhere and ultimately you're looking for growth and this is where you are headed libra uh yeah i told you seven of cups somebody's going to be looking for some work somebody's been out of work for a year looking for a job someone's looking for a new job and some some of you are looking for a new job because of that situation it's like i love these people they're fun but where am I going after this? It's not enough money. Uh, we have the King of Staffs. So for some of you, uh, you're definitely uh, advancing into a position of better authority or more authority. Or you're taking authority in regards to your career life. I am hearing it. I'm definitely picking up a lot of you that's doing the groundwork now. That's trying to manifest a new job. It's happening for you come spring. Ah, but for some of you, 
there's that codependency. Oh, codependency came out in your love reading. Codependency is coming out in your um, career reading. So for some of you, you have a Capricorn that you're close to that's going to help you out with a new job or some type of monetary. No, this more so has to do with work though. So, so I'm not picking up that somebody's giving you hard money, but someone's helping you out with work. This could be a Capricorn. For some of you, it's these attachments to your job, to your workplace. For some of you, it's like you're in a situation of desperateness. It's like, I have to work here. I got to do what I got to do because I have no other option. That's what I'm picking up with that. So for some of you, for some of you, I am picking up that this is more so laziness. Like, oh, I don't feel like doing it right now, so I'm not going to do it. So that's what's stopping you uh, kind of not wanting to get on with it. Uh, so definitely to counteract that, you know, just do it. Just like Nike, just do it. Just do it. You know, just just look for these jobs because it's here. It's here at the bottom of the deck. It's here. It's happening for you. All right. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So definitely what I'm getting with this one, I'm getting a sense of bitterness. Some of you are, are just grown a bit tired or weary of your workplace. Um, for some of you. I'm picking up uh, just I'm picking up gossip in the workplace or just backbiting in the workplace. Just you and then at the other end, even with this king of staffs, I'm, with some of you, I'm picking up that you know you're laser focused. It's like you know what, <laughs> just let me do my job and let me get out of here. But there's something that's holding you there. Maybe you're living paycheck to paycheck at the moment, or maybe some of you this isn't even that that's just for you know some of you that i'm picking up but for some of you i am picking up an overall just procrastination i don't even want to call it laziness just procrastination due to different reasons so for some of you i'm picking up procrastination due to fear procrastination due to though you don't like it but you're comfortable being uncomfortable so you're staying where you are though you don't like it so that so i'm here and get on a good foot i say that a lot about a lot in a lot of these readings get on a good foot for what you want and for some of you, you have been out of work uh, for a few months or up to a year. Um, for some of you, even two years, I heard. But this is happening. It's like you are like, look, for some of you, you were out of work because maybe you were in school. You were overindulging. Some of you, you, you were in school. You are in school. And you were overindulging. And now it's like, oh, 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 goodness. Now we're towards the end. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And then you got yourself. For some of you, this is academic probation or the threat of. But universe is saying, you know, you're going to take action. You know, for some of you, this is a loss of friendships. So not a loss, but a pause on friendships. Because ultimately, look what you're trying to, or look what, not even trying, look what you're manifesting. This new job, this new promotion, this growth, this bump in salary. For some of you that's working hourly, I'm hearing $19 an hour. Maybe you're making a bit less than that, you know. Um, uh, and you're, you know, at the beginnings of your career. But I'm hearing that for you, uh, Libra, in regards to... Uh, career and finances so overall growth but it has a lot to do with you getting out that procrastination energy and just getting on a good foot and doing what it is that you need to do all right so let's find out now um any precautions that you should take in regards to the month any warnings or precautions for libra universe for the month of january can you cause any precautions or warnings for libra one more card month of january oh, we got two seven of swords be wary of deceitfulness deceitful people deceitful people that's what i'm hearing with that that's what i'm hearing with that i want to grab one more deck all right any precautions any precautions Get two more cards for leave again uh, changes you know uh, be ready for change you know be ready for change I told you some of you you know you were okay being uncomfortable because you did not want to do the work but be ready for change you know or be cautious of being stagnant because the changes are occurring uh, so we have the king of cups so definitely what I'm getting reset I'm more so getting open up yourself emotionally uh, Libra, allow yourself to be more emotional, whether you're expressing it via journaling, therapy, friends, activity, um, by yourself, alone, with your plants, just, you know, anything. 
I'm currently staring at a plant, you all. Um, but allow yourself to open up emotionally, even if it's just to yourself. Allow, I'm hearing something about trust, you allow yourself to open up to trust the hermit. So, precaution, do not. So, I told you that some of you, 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 you just tossing out whomever's coming to you love wise. Um, be cautious about set, uh, shutting yourself in and being alone. I definitely hear more so. Try to get out with friends or try to just get out in the elements. You know, maybe I just heard it for something. I don't have that many friends. When you don't have that many friends, just try to get out, out of the physical house. Even if it's cold, find something to do. I just heard, but I don't have that much money. Even if you don't have that much money, look, you either want this or you don't. <laughs> Trying to find something to do, but, but sitting up alone, you know, ignoring your feelings, not allowing, you know, maybe even go out on those dates with those people that you're trying to throw off, throw off or throw away. Because you need to open up. You just need that energy of just, you know, happiness and just, you know, you need to feel that you are needed and wanted. That's what I'm feeling for you, Libra. Um, we have the strength card. So definitely with the strength card, um, what I'm hearing is this I'm getting pride. Um, and this may be people too. This may represent a Virgo on your life or a Leo on your life, but I'm hearing something about pride and stubbornness. Be conscious of stubbornness and pride, Libra. And then we have the two of staffs. This is indecision to make, uh, to take action. Be cautious of, of not taking action and being indecisive of taking action. I told you this has a lot, for some of you, a lot to do with your work situation. Um, and it's like the difference between you having what you want and you having not what you want is the effort that you take. For some of you, I just heard, well, I've been rejected. And yeah, and I know that sucks. I've been rejected from things before that I've wanted several different times, but you got to keep going. That's the key. You got to keep going. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the reality is saying. When you know what you know and you know what you want, you got to keep going. So don't be indecisive on taking action. Just do it. I told you. That's your overall message. I need a Nike sponsorship for this video. Uh, just do it. Put that in the tags. What did I tell you? Emotional release. Where's that King of Cups? Let yourself cry. Let it out. For some of you, I'm hearing you curse and fight in your living rooms. You know, even if you have room, maybe wait until they leave. You know, punch a pillow, let out all of that frustration that you're feeling. So with this precaution to take, don't hold it in. Ooh, death. So what did I tell you? Changes. Be on the lookout for changes that's occurring. A change is going to come or a change is going to come. Sam Cook, I need to, to um, link that in the description. I've been saying I'm going to link these videos in the descriptions of these videos. Um for the other reason I have not done it yet. Oops. Ancient wisdom. So what I'm hearing is uh, this is more so like family coming in and, and telling you and maybe you're the type like, oh, I'm not listening to that. I'm here, listen, more so listen to your elders for some of you. Some of you are in school right now and it's like, I don't know, listen. Universe is telling you, uh, be cautious about, you know, you know, not just the deceitful, that deceitfulness that, that may be on the horizon, you know, be able to discern those words, you know, of encouragement versus discouragement and where the place is coming from and who it's coming from. But for some of you, you have parents or someone older in your life, you could be, you know, a well fully grown adult, you know, well into the just, you know, but you have a parent that may feel overbearing. I'm here, universe say, listen, you know, take caution in what they're telling you, listen to what they're saying to you uh, for the golden parts and then also there's people there's deceit but this more so has something to do with on a social friend realm and this this is family listen to your family movement it's about what i tell you the reason why so for some of you i'm hearing you know and of course you want to be balanced but it's like it's depressing you though we had that three of swords we had the hermit you're you keeping yourself isolated so i'm hearing open up allow yourself to go out you know create balance you know but but in creating balance, don't just focus on the career aspect. Also focus on having some fun, you know, get creative, explore your talents, do the things that you need to do in order to get yourself into a happy, healthy equilibrium where you don't feel shut down. And maybe, you know, in regards to dating, tell someone, hey, so there's other things that I'm working on right now, but I do like you or I would like to get to know you, but my focus is primarily somewhere else. But let's, you know, let's get to know each other and we'll figure out you know in what way because definitely there's friends re-entering there's love trying to come towards you but you you're the one that's saying bye humbug <laughs> you know um in regards to love so let's find out how you can further 
you know, amplify this and manifest these messages. Libra, for those of you who would like to manifest and that this is resonating for, give me three cards. How can Libra manifest this for the month of January universe? Thank you for the channel messages. Give me a card. How can... Yeah. There we go. I'm throwing that into you. Surrender to the divine time and be patient with yourself, Libra. Be patient with yourself, Libra. Surrender to your fear of intimacy. I told you this for some of you. Um, you're stopping yourself in regards. You, you're rejecting people in regards to what you want because you're scared. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Surrender fear. <laughs> the universe is saying just do it. Um, wow, surrender unhealthy relationships. So for some of you, that old person is coming back in, let it go. If it wasn't healthy, even if they got themselves together and you feel in your spirit, this is not for me, let it go. For some of you, this is friendships that's holding you back, let it go. Family that's holding you back, let it go. Ancient words of wisdom from family members that don't make sense, let it go. That seven of swords that was at the bottom of that deck, that deceit, let it go. Uh, so, oop, Wow. Wow. Surrender stubbornness. What did I tell you about that pride? Surrender that. Let it be. Let it free. You know, because what I'm getting uh, for the month of January, everything that you want, Libra, has to do with what you allow yourself to have. And essentially, I'm like, it, what's coming out? It's like, you are, it's a self-sabotage. You're stopping yourself and it may be built in fear and pessimism. So really work on that and take the precautions of what it is that you need to do. And then if you need to talk to somebody, whatever it is, you know, get yourself to a happy place. I surrender your belief in scarcity. So for some of you, that fear that's being driven, the what's underlying that is you don't believe that you have what's for you available for you. It's like, uh, I'm never going to have that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. Stop believing that. And then we surrender defensiveness. So for some of you, you were defensive this entire reading. Yes, you were. Admit it. Uh-huh. Exactly. It feels good to say it out loud, doesn't it? All right. So to surrender that. Let that go. Stop being defensive. Like, you're not hurt nobody but you even if you do come i tell everybody come fight me in my comment section even if you do fight me in the comment section once again i'm a youtube reader on the internet um aside from my avi you don't see my face you know what i'm saying so don't make life difficult for you you have to live that life be happy live it happy live it free surrender that defensiveness and seek out the help that you need this month so that you can have a wonderful 2020 libra a wonderful 2020 and that's what I want for you. Even though I may not know you, you know, looking at this video, but I want you to be happy. That's my purpose in being a reader, being in the profession that I am in, in helping people. Um, just all of that. Come on. Do you? All right, everybody. So thank you so much, Libra, for uh, viewing this message. Let me know in the comment section how you felt about that. If anything resonated with you. Uh, and yeah, you can book a personal reading with me. The description box below has all the details for that under book personal reading. I thank you so much for your energy. Please check out some of my links, the link to the movie Quasi-Fictional. Uh, in addition to you being a uh, professional uh, therapist and counselor, I am also <laughs> an independent movie maker uh, and just a creative all the way around. Uh, so yeah, check out the Quasi-Fictional trailer. Uh, yeah, from a movie company that I own. And yeah, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you all to my subscribers. And until our next video, peace and blessings. Goodbye. <laughs>